The Cumberland High School football coach puts his heart and soul into the game. His late father played a big part in that. 12 Sports reporter Sam Knox sits down with Josh Lima and joins us now with his story. For many, the holidays are a time of celebration with family and friends. But for one local high school football coach, it's used as a time of reflection involving two major pillars in his life, family and football. Get there, Paul. Get there. Yes! 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 Let's go! For Josh Lima and his family, football was the center of the household. Good job, guys. Good job. Growing up, you know, playing football and being in the household where football was important, um, you know, competing was important. You got it. Come on, five. You got it. You got it. Years of devotion towards the game, and it found ways to give back. Get in the end zone. Touchdown. Let's go. One, one, one. One, one, one. Let's go. A lot of the lessons that I've learned through playing and coaching football. That a boy 7 1. That's how we play, man. Great job. Relate and, and really show in my life. On it, on it, on it. And I tell these guys all the time, you know, the way that I, I am with my wife or my family or my daughter, it, a lot of the lessons I learned was, was through hard work and effort and, and competing. Patrick! Great job, my man. Yes, coach. Great job. Yes, coach. Up, right? yes, sir. Great job. One of the biggest things Josh took from football, dealing with adversity, which he had to face earlier than he thought, when his dad, Bruce, was diagnosed with kidney cancer in 2016. We thought he had a little bit more time than, than he actually did, and it really spread and got worse much, much faster, much faster than, than we thought it would. You know, it went from, I, I, we think he's got a couple months to uh, he's got maybe a couple weeks, and then within two days, it was, I think he's got, you know, one day. The cancer spread in 2020. At the same time, Josh and his wife, Lucia, were expecting their daughter, Carmela. Josh's father was dying and was doing everything he could to meet his granddaughter. With time running out, the family found a way to introduce the two. Bruce put his hand on the stomach of Lucia to feel little Carmela's kick. It was a special moment, you know, and, uh, and our daughter's super active, and when she was in there, she was kicking all the time, you know, so he got to feel that, and, you know, it was, it was special because we knew there wasn't a lot of time left. Um, so for him to, you know, be able to just kind of be in that moment, um, you know, and the nurses there were, were just fantastic. They bought, brought him a hat with the, you know, greatest grandpa hat and stuff. So it, it, was, it was a special moment, you know, I think for my wife and I. Soon after that special moment, Bruce passed away. Now Josh carries on with the memory of his father, still right behind him in the stands. Before every game, when, when the anthem's going off, I always kind of give a look up because he was always there. He's always at the games. My mom and dad were always at every game. Good job, Andy. Good job, Andy. Cheering, celebrating. Good job, one. Way to be. He'd be as upset as I was if we lost. During the hard times that were brought upon Josh, his players were able to take a valuable lesson from the hardships. Coach, you know, he's a, he's a little open with us during meetings and team stuff like that. And he told me this story that definitely resonated with me, and it was about his dad. And he was talking about how a couple months prior before his dad passed, you know, his dad was over his house, and he was on his phone, like, not really paying that much attention to his dad. And then a couple months later, you know, unfortunately, his dad passed, and he was just telling us how he wished he could go back in time and, like, not take that for granted. But... Unfortunately, you can't go back in time, so I really took that lesson with me and not take anything for granted. No matter what, you know, you, you got to fight through it. Fourth here! Whether it's adversity on the field or it's adversity in your life, you know, we're here for each other and you got to fight through. And for me, I, it, it would have been easy to kind of sit back and feel bad about the situation, but it was, no, I got to get out there for these guys. I got to get out there for the program and, and be there with these guys. And he is every Friday night on the sideline with his wife, daughter, and mom right behind him cheering him on, knowing full well that his dad is also right beside him. The thrill of making a big call or winning a big game is important, but what's more important is the impact that Josh is making for his players off the field as well. Sam Knox, 12 News.